Hi, this is Chuck. Wanted to share something about database views that I discovered this week and uh, maybe save you some time, learn something in the process. Database views, for those of you who aren't familiar, are a way of taking two or more tables and joining them together into one virtual table. You can find them under system definition, database views, and there's a number of them that come out of the box, baseline, whatever you want to call it. And uh, what I did is joined two tables together and the customer said, I need these two tables joined together, but I want to see some blank records as well, but not these certain records. I'll make this a little clearer as you go on. What I did to recreate this for you is created a real simple table, one with a reference field to CMDB CI, just called the field CI. The field label of the field is U under bar CI. And then gave them a couple of text fields, field one and field two, which I just populated with some bogus data. There are five records on table one. And then I created a second table called table two that has another CI field, some text fields, and a reference field, which I'll show you in a second. This also goes to CMDB CI. So my database view for the first one is a real simple join that puts the two together. Define table one, give it a prefix of T1, table two, prefix of T2. And then the where clause is really how I join these together, what I'm connecting. So I want the value of T1 U under bar CI, which is going to be a sys ID of the reference field, to match T2 and return all the records where these agree. And you can see what happens if I click on try it. I get the CI name, all the fields from table 1, all the fields from table 2, including the related CI, which is terrific. Until the customer said, I also want all of the blank entries. So I went back to the drawing board and came up with view number two. View number two does something similar, takes table one, gives it a prefix, table two, but I reverse this and use this thing called a left join. Now left join is not on the field, on the form by default, but you can add it there by going to personalize form layout, pick left join and place it wherever you like on the form. I'm gonna put it right underneath the view and by turning this on, I'm not going to get real database administrator on you, but a left join takes all of the records, even the ones with the blank entries that don't match the criteria. Because on the view one, I had to match one entry in table one with one entry in table two. If it was in table one, but not in table two, it got left by the wayside because the match didn't work. The left join lets me get bigger results than that. And I can see this by going to the try it link. And here we have all of our records. There's all the CIs from table one. Here's all the fields from table one. You can see there's no values for field three and field four in table two because those CIs don't exist in table two. And I get blank entries. I said, how's that look, customer? They said, great, but I don't want this AIX server in there. So I thought, okay, I'll just create a filter for that. By default, the filter contains all of the fields from table one and table two, and you can see the prefixes on there, T1 for updated by from table one, updated by table two. What I want is to get the class off of the related CI, but you can see I just have the related CI value here. Down at the bottom, we have show related fields, and if you click that, now I get related CI, but I can also drill in and dot walk my way to those fields. So by clicking on the configuration item fields, I now have fields from the CI table itself, including class. So I've created related CI dot class is not AIX server. Hit run. I said, how's that customer? They said, great, except I want my two blank entries back. I said, hmm, how can I do that? Because technically they don't match this condition. The related class is not AIX server. It's nothing. So with a quick thought, I opened up the filter again, put in an or condition, and just said related CI.class is none, ran that, and got the results they wanted. There were a couple of other conditions in there. They wanted the related CI class not to equal server, not to equal disk. There was a category or a subcategory field in there. So for each one of those conditions I had to add, let's say, and related CI class is not, uh, let's say, database, I had to add an additional or. Oops, forgot to put that as it not. So each one of these has to have a corresponding pair 
If you're going to add one more and, you have to add an or for it as well. So that's my quick and dirty result of how to use a left join and filters. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.